and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and thank you so much for joining me today. Today is the third episode in this series I'm doing with Becky um, called Thrifty Thursday. And in this series we are scrapping all the supplies and sort of taking suggestions from you guys on which supplies you would like us to use, um, including uh, any paper products or tools or embellishments anything like that so you just leave your suggestions down in the comments and we will <laughs> see if we can incorporate all of them or well we'll take three uh, per uh, episode but we are going to try and get all your suggestions in in this series somewhere or another so for today um it was suggested that we use punches um uh, mini ink pads and some brads. Now I don't have a lot of brads so I had to go looking for these and I'm so glad I found them. They are little hearts so I'm very <laughs> happy I found these little brads otherwise I'd have to go and buy brads. So um, yeah I've got some of these Ulta New uh, uh, mini ink pads. Um, I have other colors um, but they are all dried out. They're not Ulta New brand they are cheapy dollar store finds so um, these are the quality <laughs> uh, mini ink pads that I do have so the colors are quite limited the greens to the pinks and the purples and then punches so I do have a lot of punches but to, for today's um, layouts I thought I would use my heart punch and I use it quite a bit I also have a cloud punch that I thought um, if I would if I get to it um, uh, I could use that as well and a teeny tiny uh, uh, butterfly punch I do have bigger butterfly punches as well if I feel like I need to use them I will pull them out so brads mini um, mini ink pads and punches for the collection that I am going to be using oh well I don't have the collection but I've got the sticker 12 by 12 sticker sheet it's from Kaiser Craft. I've got no idea. I cut the branding strip off to fit in a in a sleeve. So I've got no idea what collection this is. Um, I'm, all I know is from Kaiser Craft because I love Kaiser Craft and I have so many of their stuff. <laughs> so I thought this ink pad, these this shade of ink pad and these ones go very well with this floral at the bottom of the of the sheet and the greens as well complement the greens in this sticker sheet really well so I thought I could make something to do with that and obviously all the hearts um, uh, go along very nicely with my little uh, heart brads and my heart punch that I am going to incorporate in this and then the lastly the photo that I'm going to be using is of myself this was literally a couple of weeks after we found out I was pregnant with Lucy and it's our anniversary and this was our 10 year anniversary so uh, yeah I um, I don't have lots of photos of myself so I really love scrapping <laughs> photos of myself um, I really don't feel it's conceited or vain in any sense um, as I said in a previous video that I don't want well, one day when my kids look through the albums, I don't want them to ask, Mommy, where are you? Or, you know, because it is, it's my life I'm scrapping, right? So I scrap photos of myself as well. So anyway, so let me get cracking on this and I will put you on fast forward and I'll talk you through my process. Okay, so firstly, I'm just going to be trimming down my photo. I leave quite a quite a, 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 a white border thick it's not really thick but for me it's thick in any case um white border around my photo and I just take out some plain textured white cardstock now this isn't American crafts white cardstock um, the shop that I usually get my American craft textured white cardstock from is um is out so I had to sort of go to their <laughs> aisles raid their aisles for anything white that they had so I'm not sure I think this is just a plain I don't know what who, who makes them but anyway so I am going to be swiping my um, little ink pads just in 
that formation like that and um, in that color gradient as well and I love how this turned out I absolutely love it um, it looks fantastic and do, it, do, it really doesn't matter those little bits that um, overlap where I overlap the ink um, to go further to the left hand side of the page because you're not going to see that in any case in the end but it looks fantastic I love this and I actually wish that um, I took some more time uh, in um, going to my sewing machine because I think stitching some very wonky random stitching with white thread would have looked fantastic on these um, on these lines that I drew with my ink pads now uh, the colors that I use the top uh, sort of uh, pink is called coral berry oh no sorry the top top one is ruby red then it is coral berry and then it is uh, frosted pink the light green is called frayed leaf and the bottom darker green is called forest glades just for those of you who are interested in knowing which colors I used so they are just the small little ink pads um, and it's obviously um, dye ink so it goes into the paper and it actually dyes the paper whereas um, the other ink um, I can't think of the name now dye ink and well you're probably screaming at the the screen right now oh my word my brain has stopped anyway the other ink the other type of ink you get just sits on top of the paper uh, whereas the dye ink goes in and dyes the fibers of the of the paper and I love the way this looks um, dye ink is also very vibrant so um, this ultra new ink is just gorgeous so as part of my punches I wanted to use this um, this hearts punch and I I thought I don't know this, this didn't turn out the way I really wanted it to turn out it was too lovey-dovey and heartsy and Valentine's-ish um, maybe it's because I'm uh, seeing a lot of Valentine's um, layouts uh, going around at the moment and I want to stay clear of too many hearts especially if it's not a Valentine's layout and look I mean I'm I'm pleased with myself but I, I don't love myself <laughs> so much so that I will cover myself in hearts on a layout so um <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna give the hearts a little bit of a skip and now I pull out my cloud punch and I see maybe clouds oh, but the clouds were too whimsical too cartoony um, because the florals on the left hand side that I've got going there are too um, sort of lifelike and um, they're more vintage so the clouds didn't do it for me so then I take my teeny tiny little butterfly punch and I just punch those hearts out that I colored in to begin with and the hearts weren't dry yet but the punch is awesome so it had a quite a crisp clear punch and I'm just going to be putting those little butterflies like that nothing much nothing more I do add this tab to the side of my photo um, I thought I would do some color on color embellishing um, but I take it off it's too heavy it's it's um, a bit heavy on that side of the of the photo um, and uh, I didn't have anything else to balance it with on the other side of the photo so just one tip if you do use any of these inks on your paper please reinforce whatever you're sticking on even if it is a sticker just reinforce it with some wet glue because it it does it, it, it doesn't stay on it doesn't stick on even if the sticker is very sticky it still comes off in the end don't know why well these stickers are quite old so I would have reinforced them in any case and um, whether I used the ink pads or not because the sticky is a bit is a bit on the old side so I go into that sticker pad again and I just take out um, some of those word phrases and the top one says the purpose of our lives is to be happy and then the one on the lighter pink says if you want to be happy be and then I just put a little green um, sticker on the bottom on the right at the bottom that says laugh that is not going to make the final cut in the end 
um, because I'm going to have uh, a bit of a title, uh, a change of mind when it comes to my title, change of heart actually, and as well that border sticker that is to the left of the page behind the florals, that it didn't go for me. I, I thought it would go, but in the end it just did not, I, it, yeah, didn't feel good, so <laughs> I took it off. And um, this is now where I thought um, the stitching would have been really awesome. It would have added a lot of texture. Even if I just zigzagged some stitching on, it would have added so much texture and interest to the page. But I do use some of that little border strip and I just stick it underneath um, my photo and rip a little bit of it off just to add some more interest. I think the green needed some attention. And here is the thing with my title. I wanted to use the two little words that's in those little letter stickers. Um, happy smile because I, I'm having a very happy smile in that photo um, but then the the color of those letters the brownie sort of I don't know vintagey color just did not go because of the stark white of the paper it did not go for me so I went into my thicker stash and I got some awesome chipboard titles that I forgot about and these are I'm sure you've all seen them and um, they are from Dear Lizzie and they're just massive titles they are there's some um, there's a title hello magical love adventure today and memories so I'm going to be using the adventure title and um, it, uh, it it went a bit wonky <laughs> The T U R E of the of the title went a bit wonky, so I just had to um, shift it a little bit so that it's all on a straight line. But anyways, and I love the crisp white aspect of this title. It's divine, and it totally goes with the white of the background. So this is where I bring in my brads. Now I do have to admit that I really could have put more brads in there but I don't have any more <laughs> so um and I wanted to put that little pink brad at the bottom there but then I realized I didn't have any green at the top to balance off the pink one I would place at the bottom so I just took it off took it out and smoothed out the paper underneath underneath where the hole was so lastly I'm coming in with my Heidi Swap Black color shine and I'm just going to be doing some random splatters around my photo just to echo some of the black that's in the photo as well and another thing I wanted to do a little bit of a border around my layout but I didn't want to do wonky lines so I just thought why not write my journaling along the edge of the page and this is basically just of the new adventure that we were going to be embarking on us finding out that we were expecting our fourth child and it was our 10 year anniversary and even though this was I mean very overwhelming and daunting it's sort of you know um, it you know God holds us in his hands and he made this possible and yeah if um, I also wrote about if the sparrow has no worries why should we so so this is it for my layout please check out Becky's um, layout for this week as well I am sure that she's got a whopper of a layout waiting for you this is it okay bye <laughs>